Welcome back to another video and today is going to be a fun video because we're going to be going over to the Riverside County because we're going to be looking at some brand new homes by KB Homes that they built. So we're going to go check out the model homes because right now I'm searching for homes and I'm going to give you guys a little tour of how the homes look because the home shopping experience is a lot of fun and I've never done the home shopping experience when it comes to brand new builds, right? So we're going to be checking them out because they're more affordable than the homes in LA, unfortunately. So I am looking right now to purchase. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It is raining today, so... Hopefully it's not raining too much when we go over there. Pero vamos a ver cómo están, you know. Hopefully the houses are nice. And we're going to go get some info because we might be buying in 2024, 2025. Quién sabe, vamos a ver cuánto ramos, ¿verdad? But after that, we're going to go to Buffalo Wild Wings and it should be a lot of fun. So these new homes are actually located in the city of Nuevo, California, over in the Riverside County. And I'm not going to lie, you guys, these homes are like away from everything. Like take a look at the surroundings like it's just flat land and mountains that's all you see this new community is being built in the middle of nowhere which is one of the reasons why these homes are a little bit cheaper they start from 450 and the expensive one on the left is half a million dollars so when you compare those prices to what you get in LA it's a huge difference right you're getting a huge home right here but the downside is that it's in the middle of nowhere right and to get to the freeway it's about what three miles so maybe 10 minutes depending on traffic but when you come into the home, as you guys can see, there was a restroom right there so that your guests don't go upstairs or go into your bedrooms to use the restroom, which is pretty cool. You say right there on the right is the garage. And then all over on the left hand side, they got a little closet for you to save your stuff. And you guys see it's an open concept home with a very nice living room. And I love the way that they stage the homes because it really motivates you to want to live here. Like you really start to vision yourself living here, right? They got a little section right here for a little table with some wine. And I'm really liking this kitchen right here. It's not as big as I wish, but it's a very nice kitchen. I love the island. When I purchase my first home, I do hope that I can find a home with an island like this one because that's just so gorgeous. I can definitely picture myself cooking in this kitchen. Everything is really nice. It's got a little door right here. This is a pantry. It's not as big as I would like it to, but I mean, as long as it saves some things in there, that's fine. There's plenty of cabinets, which is another thing I like. You get a brand new stove, the microwave at the top. Very, very elegant. And I mean, for 450, you guys, this is very cheap. Look at the backyard. If you have kids like myself, then this is perfect for them. They're gonna love playing back there. Also, if you like to grill some carne asada, you guys already know, I love carne asada. So I will be grilling back there if I ever purchase a home with a nice backyard like that. But so far, the first floor was very nice. And again, this was the cheapest home that's available. And now we're gonna be going up to the second floor. And in the second floor, there's a laundry room and it's got a lavadora secadora, which is very, very cool. I kind of think that the laundry room is a little bit too big. Like, what are you gonna be doing in here? Like, you're just gonna be folding clothes and stuff like that. You know, there's a little pasillo, a little hallway over here that leads you into the bedrooms. And over here on the right-hand side, are the two smaller bedrooms the master bedroom was on the left but i'm going to save that one for the end and i think the rooms are big for like your kids or anyone that's going to be living with you uh bed fits in here it's more than enough i mean que mas quieres you know for the price this is what you're getting you even got a little space right here for your desk and your computer for when the kids go to school but very nice room i like it the bedrooms i can definitely picture my kids being here one day if i ever buy one of these homes you know but this other bedroom was also very nice. This one was more on the long side and it had this huge bed. And it, the room feels a little bit smaller just because of the way that the room is modeled. But look on the outside, lots of construction happening over there. And I love looking at the model homes. It's very fun and it gets your hopes up. Like maybe one day, you know, you work hard enough, you'll be able to buy one of these. But this is the bathroom that is shared between the rooms. And it's very good. I mean, what are you gonna do in here? You're gonna take a shower. Use the restroom and all that good stuff. There's a little closet right here to put your bed sheets or anything else you want to save in here. So there's plenty of room, you know. And the master bedroom, I just fell in love with it because it was huge. You could put your bed here, a little chair on the side, your television. Look at the big mirror on the right hand side. Like when you're getting ready, you could look at yourself in the mirror to make sure you're looking fly. Also the restroom, very nice. It's humongous, which is really cool. Not even the restroom that I have right now in my current house is this huge but you get the shower you get the double sink you get the walk-in closet there's a toilet here you can even put a little cabinet right there as you guys see so there's plenty of space for you to do whatever you want 
and this is for the master bedroom so this is getting me really excited because i definitely can picture myself putting all my clothes here getting this place looking nice and sharp but you know this is the homes that they have right here and they have much more but i'm just going to show you guys one so today we're going to go to buffalo wow wings because my girl wants some wings today but i'm not going to be ordering wings today i'm going to try something different i think i'm going to try maybe a burger or maybe one of the hot dogs that they sell I don't know, but I'm going to change it up because I've never tried anything different from the Buffalo Wild Wings menu. That is in wings. And of course, I'm gonna, probably going to steal like a wing or two from my girl, pero. <laughs> oh, yes, I know. Maybe not. So obviously the houses are cheap where we went to today, but it's because take a look at this road. This is the road that you use to go towards the 215 freeway. And there's nothing here. Like if you take a look at the sides, it almost looks like you're driving in a highway in Mexico. So there's just nothing. There's just like literally one lane going that way, one lane going back, and that's it, right? So that is one of the downsides of the homes that we saw today. That it's a little bit far from everything. Take a look at the lights in front of us. That's like a good 15 minute drive. But I mean, you can't have everything in this world, right? But we are in the Buffalo Wow Wings. We, today we came to the one that's located in the Menifee area because this is where we were at seeing homes. So we decided to come here today. And we didn't even know this, but there was actually a sports game going on and we were like that's so cool you know because now we're gonna get to eat and watch a game everyone was excited everyone was cheering for their team so this is one of the cool things that i like about buffalo wild wings that when you come for a game or any special event that they're showing on the television everyone is hyped up and it's packed in here today we did have to wait like 20 minutes for a table but it was fine because i mean we were hungry and we were willing to wait and i wanted to try the burger right so this is the menu i'm sure everybody has came to buffalo wild wings but the real question is how many of you guys are ordering this burger right here right who's ordering burgers when they go to buffalo wild wings if you're the one ordering burgers you're a weirdo nah, i'm just playing but i mean buffalo wild wings for me is associated with wings right but today i decided to try the southwestern black bean burger and it comes with a side of fries and surprisingly this burger was really good take a look at the cheese the meat looks a little brownish but that's because it has beans on top this is a burger with beans i've never tried a burger with beans usually it's with guacamole but it was very good i got some potato wedges also on the side these things were good but they fill you up quickly and of course my girl she got some barbecue wings on the side because she was like i'm not gonna eat a burger so today i feel like i'm cheating on the wings from buffalo wild wings because I got the burger. And this thing is really good. So if you're like me and you always eat wings when you go to Buffalo Wild Wings and you want to change it up, I definitely recommend the South Western Black Bean Burger because I liked it. It tasted like a normal burger, but the kicker was the beans on the burger. I've never eaten beans on a burger, so it gave it a completely different flavor. When you were biting into the burger, at the end, you did taste the beans, right? So if you're a fan of beans, make sure you try this one out. Also, when I was looking online, there was a deal that if you buy a burger, you can get six boneless wings for $1. So if you're seeing this video, when it comes out, then make sure you guys go to your local Buffalo Wild Wings. You try your burger, and if you don't like it, then you always have the wings on the side that you only paid $1 for. And when I was making this video, there was a lawsuit that came out regarding Buffalo Wild Wings. A man is claiming that the Buffalo Wild Wing boneless wings are not really wings. They're chicken nuggets. And I kind of agree with this guy. Because, I mean, they're not boneless wings. They're chicken nuggets just like McDonald's. So, this is a lawsuit that's currently going on. And the man claims that the boneless wings are pricey. And they should be a lot cheaper. And I actually agree with this. Because they're chicken nuggets. They're not wings with the bone, right? The wings with the bone, I know they're pricier because they're more good. But should bonus wings be cheaper i think the guy is right but what do you guys think leave it down in the comments below do you guys think that boneless wings at buffalo wild wings are wings or are they not wings are they chicken nuggets and if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that delicious like button down below and if you want to keep going on some more adventures with me all over los angeles all over riverside and much much more make sure to subscribe i post two new videos every single week showing you guys what i'm eating this was Stella fox checks and i approve of the buffalo wild wings burgers